Whatever happened to the Occupy Wall Street movement? Wall Street won. Much like another commenter pointed out, they never defined what they really wanted. Never formed a unified front. They fell apart due to infighting, division, and contradicting statements. I remember a graph that showed how many headlines the New York Times had that were related to race. Immediately after Occupy Wall Street it spiked and hasn't ever dropped. My theory is OWS scared the shit out of the ruling class so they had to get us divided on race. They absolutely do not want us united against the top point zero one. They got infiltrated by bad actors and wackos and died and have a coherent message in move, but I think they did achieve a facilitation of discussion that did contribute to the national conscience of wealth inequality. And I think an increased interest in regulating capitalism better has become a part of the center and moderate left. Heck, even among some center right. How much of that was because of them rather than simply being a common sense opinion is up for debate. So it's a mixed bag. Didn't achieve anything big, but wasn't pointless either. The narrative from the people I listen to is that in the US, the movement started focusing on the progressive stack, as in that the people who were most marginalized had the most right to speak and that caused a ton of infighting. In part that was probably part of it. No clear message, no big organization, Though as we have a seen, a more centralized messages actually leads you into corruption as with BLM. I was a fresh grad working in insurance during the Occupy Wall Street movement, all modern movements are global, I am not sure the US knows this but Oz and UK a week later have the same protests. I listen to a ton of American podcasts and they do not realize that the world had protest for George Floyd. I live in London but I am Asian. We had BLM protests in our Asian cities too. When I was in insurance in London during the Occupy Wall Street movement we were told not to wear suits to work, but we would go to cocktail bars and skyscrapers overlooking it. We also used to hang in the protest as in London they had a ton of musical and comedian acts, it was a dope place to hang out. The old boys told me that they used to have better parties before Occupy, I think the public display of wealth is now more hidden but no change, just more secret. Identity politics. The same thing that happens to all such groups, they fracture, things are mismanaged, and eventually other issues feel more pressing. All they did was live on the streets near the buildings. What was that going to do? Look over there. Racism sexism. They got kicked out of the park by the cops. Simple answer. Wall Street died and gave a fuck. Wall Street turned the class war into a race war through media propaganda. Progressives were manipulated into prioritizing identity politics over anything else. Occupy Wall Street gradually lost momentum due to internal divisions and the lack of clear goals. Why? They achieved all of their well-defined and well-articulated objectives and then went home. People found the isms to be more interesting to demonstrate about them not being poor anymore. They migrated to anti-work. Anarchists aren't good at organizing because anarchy is the opposite of organization so they died and get organized and accomplished absolutely nothing. It was absolutely blackpilling and marked the time I stopped being an anarchist and became a socialist. I've been pretty allergic to anarchists ever since. Hippies lag direction and then accomplish nothing before ultimately selling out. Homeless people began joining the camps. The activists got scared. The economy rebounded, and we stopped talking about wealth inequality. Because Obama 